Dr. Smoke. Today we are doing a build video. Man, it's been a while. What do you think, Anthony? It has been a while, Don. It's been a while for a build video, and we're not even building a smoker today. What are we building, Don? What are we building, Anthony? Now, what the heck is that? It's not a smoker. Clearly. So this is a Blackstone 36-inch griddle. I've been eyeing this up for a while. Got it from Walmart for a pretty decent deal. So 36-inch Blackstone griddle with the two air fryers on the bottom and a warming tray. What would you cook with an air fryer? Chicken fingers. Tendies. Sweet. Tendies, you know. Tater tots. What would you cook with an air fryer? I would probably so uh, cook some uh, shrimps on the Barbie. Ooh, yeah, that sounds good. So you're gonna the first step of the build process is gonna be two legs, the uh, solid black shelf. Okay, so two legs and a solid. So you're going to take exactly what you have set up there and flip it upside down. Okay, now the, the screws are here. The screws are up top. Yep. Okay, yeah, because these are where the wheels screw into. Okay. Alright. And then put the black, uh, full black shelf in between. It goes in between? Yep, and the first thing you're going to need to do is put four screws in. Okay. screws side shelf peg m6 by 12 screws g g okay none but a g thing baby and it's four of them right yes There's your, your M6 by 12 screws. And we're gonna just hand, hand, uh, start them by hand. Now I might need assistance with this one, Anthony. All right, I'll get in there. All right. Flip it. Okay. Here's two screws. And I guess this goes in the center here? Yep, all the way down the bottom. So you have to make sure that your rods for the screws face the shelf. So while Anthony looks for the directions, I'm going to go get a screwdriver. We're going to use the impact driver for this install. Step, we have to put the four casters on and they're going to be on the... We're going to flip that whole assembly upside down. All right. And they're going to go in these holes, these big holes, these big threaded ones, right? Yep. We're all done? All done. This is the griddle space? <laughs> all right. Casters. And all four are locked, so there's no orientation. the flip around not yet not yet what okay. we're gonna do next is do you have that uh, moving blanket we're gonna push this pull this to the side and here next we need the moving blanket now I apologize for my ugly moving blanket All right, we're gonna take the whole assembly here and flip it upside down on the moving blanket So the whole thing gets flipped over. And you'll feel down, it's like right here. Okay, and right here. This is the new. So a little more caution, the tape comes off of the drawers. 
So be careful of the doors falling out when you do flip this. orientation. We're going to need another two of those G's for each leg. So that's a total of eight. So two for each the G M12s? Yep. Get it in? Nope. Not at all. Apparently, Anthony don't know how to get it in either. There we go. What nice, were you saying, Don? Nice tight fit, though, huh? Yeah. So the four screws go on the front outside edge of the stand. Next out of the hardware pack, we're going to need the thumb screws, which is letter J. Letter J, thumb screws. They are going to secure the legs to the air fryer body. Gotcha. These are going to go on the side here. You'll see a hole halfway up. And they should screw right into the bottom side of the air fryer. Okay, cool. Yep. So then the next thing we're going to do is flip it over. So right, right, right it up. Yeah, we'll flip it up so the drawers are facing up so they don't fall out. Like we almost had happen. Yeah. Next up is a seasoning video. I'm going to link that in the description and also it'll pop up right here, right about now. All right, next thing, Don, is we're going to, uh, with the help of another person, we are going to place, uh, well, we did that. We placed the uh, griddle on its uh, feet okay. and we're going to mount the uh, brackets for the side shelves. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're going to need uh, eight of those M6. Again, okay. Uh, actually, these ones are a little longer. These are going to be the 15s, so the M6 by 15. Okay. I think that's letter E. Yep, we need eight of those. Yep, and then we need to find four of the side shelf brackets. Okay, so A goes to the front where the uh, knobs are at, and B will and B will go to the back on the right side and on the left side it's the opposite okay so, so for you don on your side where the propane connection is propane connection b is to the front and okay. a will be to the back okay and these go and one of the things i noticed on on this bracket is there's actually a tapered hole for where I think these screws go because they are also a tapered screw. Gotcha. Okay, so this is just one screw to hold these in? Yeah. Uh, two screws. Two screws. Top and bottom. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, Don, is we're going to put the uh, griddle on. The griddle? Yep. I think they forgot the griddle. No. Where's the griddle at? I was just thinking about that. Uh -huh. Feast your eyes. Look at that griddle. And it's heavy too. Oh, it better be heavy. So you'll see there's um, slots on the top. All over. Metal. Metal flakes. Now these holes are kind of oblong. Does it get pushed back on to locked in? Uh, I think you're right. Yeah, it does. It does. Yep. So it has a locking me mechanism on the uh, bottom of the bolt here, and you'll see the slot as you slide it back. It locks in place. So I guess the back doesn't lock. Only the front locks. 
Oh, okay. So for the lid, we're gonna need two of the um, M6 by 12 screws and the handle. handle, which I think it already has the screws built into it. It does. And then you're going to need uh, one lid spacer. Lid spacer. Which is C. Okay. And then you're going to need one M6 by 20 screw, which is A. M6 by 20. Okay. And one M6 lock nut, which is F. To attach the hood as per okay. sequence one, two, and three. So here's your twelve. And then repeat on the other side. So on each side of the lid, you are going to have your spacer, your M12, and your lock nut. So we're we're just gonna put the lid on first. We can put the handle on after. Say put the um, bushing on first, the spacer. Yeah, bushing on the griddle first. I'm in. I can hold this as you get yeah, your li you're lined, lined up. Yeah, I'm lined up. Let me just grab my screw. It's inside. Uh, and the orientation for the screw goes where? Because the screw you're gonna go, your lock washer. You're going to go from the outside. Okay. Lock washer goes on the inside. Okay. By the time it's grabbing the adjustable, I'm going to prep the handle. Screw goes on the inside. There's a little stainless steel washer that goes underneath the handle. I cheated a little bit. I found pliers. So you asked. What were these brackets for? I did, yes. What are they for? They are for the propane. Oh, okay. So they are going to go on this side where the propane whips at. All right. And this is going to sit in here like this, like this. Okay. And then that's going to go on the bottom. I just got to find out what screws we need. Okay, cool. Let me know when I'm grabbing. So for those, we need two... M6 by 12s. Okay, got them. Now, does this go towards the top? This, uh, there's a lip here. Does that go towards the top or the bottom? That's a great question, Don. Uh, based lip? on the image, it looks like that lip goes to the top. Goes to the top, okay. Well, what I noticed in the picture was that in this bag that has the propane whip, there is a clip clip that holds it from getting too far away. We're going to secure that to the side. That clip has a little. Um, small hole in the side here where you have to slip in the clip in place. So you want to tighten it action? Yeah, gives it a spring action. Okay, it's tight. I had to take my extension off for that one because it's kind of It tight. is in a tight spot. Okay. Cord bracket. All right. And that also, I believe, will be mounted with uh, two of those M6x12s. Guess what? That's the last two. Next thing we're going to do is put the side shelves on. Side shelves. For those, we're going to need we side need shelf pegs. H and B, the pegs and the washers. Okay. You need all of them. Uh, there should be four. Four for each. Yeah, four for each. Okay. 
So here are the pegs for each side. Wow. And the washers. One of the things that I noticed quickly on this, as someone who likes to cook, it looks like it has a magnetic knife holder or utensil holder. That's pretty cool. Okay. All right. So they go on here. I'm assuming they go like this. So we both shelves? Yep. You want to do one? I'll do one? Yeah. So it looks like washer, peg. Washer, whoop, peg. Don't lose it. Thing we're going to need Don is uh, two M6 uh, step bolts. They are not a letter D. Okay. You want to finish taking these? I'll get the bolts. Yep. So you know it'd be really nice if Blackstone put Doctor Smoke YouTube channel on here for the build. What do you think? Right. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> what do you guys think? Tell us in the comments. Should be four total. Yep, four for each. Uh, two for each side. Right, we have eight. So two for each side. Yep. So you take this shelf. Okay. And what you're gonna do is. Okay, so they just go in now. Yeah. We don't have to mount it. On. And then there's going to be two on the bottom that screw in from underneath. You think so? Yep. Oh, you should have another uh, two. Yes. Or another four, I mean. So the way the instructions mm -hmm. tell you to do it is to mount it, mount these screws while it's on the unit. And I would do the first top two. So it's easier to put yeah. the bottom two on. So the top the top is open so you can just put them in. Yeah. The bottom's closed so you have to actually put them in while it's up on the up on the uh, griddle. And I get it because that's basically so you can Plop the uh, sides down. Exactly. Because these are both folding front shelves, or side shelves. So used to saying EMG stuff. For those, of, for those of you who don't know, you might be watching our videos for the first time. We are dist a distributor for Green Mountain Grills. So we, uh, you know, we, we try to help out through how to videos on smokers. And uh, this is this is kind of a new addition to uh, our outdoor kitchen setup for you know showing customers different things. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell because there's going to be definitely some Blackstone videos coming up. Uh, how many are we doing today? Two, two or three more after this. <laughs> but. So the next thing we're going to do is mount the handles on the air fryers and the warmer. Okay. And then uh, last few steps are going to be adding the battery for the ignition okay. and the handles on the grill. And then cool. we're ready to cook. Ready to, wait, wait, wait. We're not cooking. What are we doing? Oh. Seasoning. Seasoning. You got to season this first. That's number one. To mount the handles, you have to loosen up. The front, so inside the, these drawers for the air fryer, there's some thumb screws. You're going to take them off. And we're going to mount the handles. Three to them. So we're going to need the screws for that, and I believe those were the ones that we picked up 
The stainless ones? The stainless ones. Okay. I'll grab those. So once you put those four screws on in the handle, you reassemble it back to the front of the basket. There's a screw hole to slide the screw in, and then you just add the thumb, thumb screw. We got one drawer done. these like crazy I don't want to dent No, them. I wouldn't ever torque them. So there you go. All right. Next. So are all the drawers the same? Yep. They are. All three drawers. Okay. And that was one of the questions I had like <clears throat> seeing these in action, seeing I've watched a couple videos on these. Nobody really talks about the air fryer that much and that's one of the selling points for me is, is the air fryer cuz you know the kids don't always want cheese steaks or, or Things you're cooking, you could be outside, turn on that thing, and then you know the tendies, make yeah. the tendies for them. The tendies. The tendies. <laughs> there might be a couple people that get that reference. So the next step is going to be mounting the handles. Tom, you want to want the honors? Oh my goodness! These beautiful, beautiful handles. They look to all be the same. There was five total. Okay. Um, and then you just line up with the, uh, there's a flat side here. I'll show you on camera if you can see it. And then you just, you know, go with the flat side. Okay. Turn Next step is going to be putting the battery in here. This just unscrews. Anybody who's had a grill. Anybody who's had a grill before knows. Uh, I don't have one with me right now, but I'm not going to show you that part. Yeah. Then you just put your battery in, and then you'll hit your igniter, and you'll hear it go. Tick, 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 tick. The very last step, other than hooking this up to propane, is adding the drip pan to it. And Anthony so. wants to show the back side of the grill. Some people have a nice backside. This grill is one of those. So there's a little slot, that's right, right up here, where this edge slides into. It. And that's it. Now, how come there's a hole there? There's a screw? Uh, maybe there's a screw that you can put in there to keep it from. Uh, I'll have to look. I, I didn't see it on the uh, directions. Hmm. Is there one screw left? Or do I have a screw loose? No, I mean, there is, there, there are spare screws. There is a spare M12, but I don't know if there was a, a spot for it. Based on the directions, there's nothing here that says anything about adding a screw to it. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's a thing to add a screw to that. We'll leave that alone. Flip this back around, turn it. That is the Blackstone, 36 inch, four burner, two air fryer, one warming drawer, uh, flat top. What is it called again? Flat top. We look forward to doing more videos on this and uh, thank you for watching. Again, this is Don from Dr. Smoke and we've got Anthony from Dr. Smoke too. What's next, Don? Seasoning. Let's season this. Yep, please hit that like, subscribe button, and uh, a notification for when we release videos. We're going to get the stickers pulled off of this thing, and we're going to do a seasoning video next. Thank you.